Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Welcome back. First and foremost, if you notice, we have a brand new Otis shirt that is available at the top of our page in the store. You guys requested it, we listened, and we made it. Casey designed it, it's now ready to go. It's Otis for POTUS 2024. Thanks for that awesome idea. Uh, and you can go pick that up, and just remember that every little penny that we make off that stuff goes right back into all the amazing things that we get to do with these incredible animals. Now, this video is pretty cool. You guys know that Casey and I are huge advocates for housing animals as naturalistically as possible, whether that's inside or that's outside. It's a little bit easier outside, of course. Well, we have been literally gawking at enclosures made by an incredible company called Toad Ranch for a while now. Uh, Jared and Denny Lynn own this company and they make, I'm sorry, some of the most incredible, probably best enclosures I have ever seen. They're just like immaculate pieces of furniture that would work in any room. It's unreal. Well, we were able to get a custom designed enclosure for a very special animal here. It just arrived. We are so excited to be working with these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and start assembling it and then you're gonna to get to see who will be living in it. getting started here and um, got a little card from Jared and Denny. Hi GST family, we are super excited that you chose us for your reptile enclosure. We love what you guys are doing and look forward to working with you in the future. This is awesome. We sincerely hope you love your new Toad Ranch enclosure. Thanks so much, Jared and Danny. Well, I can tell you guys that I'm already impressed and I haven't even put it together. So I'm gonna start with uh, putting the side panels into the bottom body panel and um, hopefully I don't mess this up. Okay, we've got our top panel here, and this is where the light fixtures go, but the ceramic fixtures do need to be mounted to the ceiling boxes, so we gotta unwrap these. Oh, this is easy. This is what's really awesome about these enclosures is you can get the light fixtures built right into them. So then all you have to do is just unscrew this right here. So you're just gonna mount them right in, and they're good to go. So a lot of enclosures, you gotta fasten your own lighting to it. And of course you can add additional lighting to this or other heat sources depending on what it is you're gonna be housing in here. Maybe you need extra heat. I don't know. Just got the backdrop in. This is a custom made backdrop that uh, they went ahead and installed for us here. It's got the vents for ventilation. Um, in case you can't tell what this is, this is a Madagascar spiny forest. So there's your first clue, the animal going in here.
five UVB kit. This is some serious stuff for reptiles that require legit UVB to replicate the sun. Interesting fact, this is not going in the enclosure that we're making tonight. This one's going in the next Toad Ranch enclosure. So hang out on the edge of your seat for what's gonna happen with that. Honey, you're not being authentic. I know you curse so much when you do this stuff. Be authentic. <laughs> well, nothing's going wrong here. <laughs> so, ceramic heat emitter is in. So we got a UV bulb here. Snakes and UVB is debatable. I like to use it on certain species, especially exotic ones, because, well, they are subjected to the sun in nature. It's not going to harm them. So, uh, we're going to see how she does with it. So, they're in. Now it's time to start decorating. So the substrate mix that we're putting in here is actually uh, a mix that I've used for various reptiles over the years, and it's organic raised bed soil. So everything in it is natural, and we're gonna mix it with some regular play sand. The animal that's going in here comes from Madagascar from a dry spiny forest. So the substrate will dry out over time, and then we can mist the animal and, and spray it down a little bit. But this is going to make a nice naturalistic substrate for her and allow her to burrow in if she needs to. Just so you know, this one's stubborn. I offered to lift these heavy bags for her, but she told me to get lost. So like to make the enclosures look as naturalistic as possible. What's more natural than a good, solid piece of driftwood? Driftwood looks great. The animals love it. They can go underneath it. They can bask on top of it, which is going to be perfect right here. This is a 60-watt ceramic heat emitter, so it's going to be just enough heat down here for the animal. And it, again, the cage is going to protect it. And there's our first piece of decor. So these are Dracaena marginata. Um, dragon tree they're referred to. Now, they come from Africa, Southeast Asia, other areas. I think they're even in Australia. I'm not 100% sure. They're really hardy and they've been cultivated into these small shrubs to be household plants. So I like using them. They're very safe for any animal, um, any reptile or amphibian that is. And um, they kind of really match this background. So they're going to add a nice aesthetic appeal and more naturalistic stuff to the enclosure. I think I've said that enough times. So we're just going to pick some Good spots to put them in, not too far from this light, because they do require light. And we got a nice, nice deep substrate here. This is great stuff. Put this one here. It's got a nice saucer at the bottom so we can water it. Let's get some of this substrate up into it. Looks great there. Um, what do you think? This one back here? Good thing about Dracaena is they don't need to be watered much and you actually should let them dry out before you water them again. So you don't have to stay on top of it, they don't grow too fast. In fact, most of the ones that I've used, I don't think I've ever really seen them grow too much. I don't know if that's good or bad, but they're nice and hardy. Here we go, onto the water dish. So we've got a nice corner water dish here. Uh, the animal going in here does not require much water, so this will really never even need to be much bigger than this, even though she's going to get to be a considerable size. The Zoom Ed makes these nice corner units, so uh, they're, they're not an eyesore. They look nice in here. So we're going to dig out a little bit of substrate and just go ahead and put it right here in the corner.
Okay, so with the enclosure complete and decorated, we can introduce to you its new inhabitant. This is Marie. She is a female Dumeril's boa from Madagascar. Beautiful species, a snake that I've always wanted to work with since I was a teenager. And recently we were lucky enough to get her and we just want to give her as fantastic of a home as possible. And Toad Ranch has made that possible for her and us. And uh, she's already trying to get in there. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to tell you guys a little bit about the specifics of the Toad Ranch enclosures. So Toad Ranch makes their enclosures out of premium, heavy duty, half inch American made PVC that's durable, safe, and easy to clean. It contains no plasticizers, no heavy metals, and no lead. The PVC body color screws come with it. They supply a patent pending design with three quarters inch HDPE wood grain rigid plastic structural frame in your choice of three wood tones. So you'd have to go to their website and pick out what you would want. You just need to go to toadranchcages.com. The enclosures also come with quarter inch tempered glass sliding doors with polished edges and their easy glide whisper quiet sliding glass door track. Ceramic light fixtures are included, four inch vents, and stainless steel stacking dowels with a locking dowel system. You really can't beat this, folks. These are incredible enclosures and they're really not that heavy either. Of course, you should always keep an eye on the humidity and temperature inside any reptile or amphibian's enclosure. And I recommend Govi. They make really awesome units. They have an app that you can download to your phone and even check certain units depending which one you pick up. If you're away on vacation and if someone's watching your animal, you can call them and say, hey, the humidity's too low, the humidity's too high. We're definitely gonna put one of these inside this enclosure because Dumeril's boas do come from more arid habitats, so we're gonna to wanna to see that humidity naturally drop, which it will do. Right now the substrate's new and a little bit damper, so as it goes down, it'll be more ideal for her. And this just sticks right on the enclosure wall, so we're gonna go put that in now. <laughs> oh God, please edit that. <laughs> so we named our Dumeril's boa after the French herpetologist that discovered them. Uh, we named her Marie. His name is Andre Marie. Dumeril. She'll grow to be about six and a half feet long. Right now she's just a little baby. Um, but when she does get bigger, we're going to adjust her enclosure accordingly. Right now it's just right as far as enrichment goes and getting her around to explore and stretch out, gain some muscle. So right now she's on frozen thawed rats. But in the wild, they do quite a bit of exploring and they're able to actually get down juvenile lemurs, which is pretty cool. We don't have those readily available, <laughs> so she gets frozen thawed rats. So this enclosure is five feet by two feet and that's actually larger than the recommended size for an adult Dumeril's boa. A lot of people think snakes just sit around and do absolutely nothing, but let me tell you, as someone who does radio telemetry on them in the wild, they move, and they like to move a lot. They may not do it that often, but they certainly do explore, whether it's foraging, actively hunting, or just checking out their surroundings. So we wanted to make sure that Marie has plenty to do inside this enclosure whenever she feels like doing it. There's a lot of amazing reptile enclosures on the market, but I'm sorry, Toad Ranch just does it on a whole nother level. So thank you, Jared and Denny Lynn, for such an amazing enclosure, and we are so excited to move into the future working with you guys. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are absolutely amazing. And if Marie could thank you, I'm sure she would. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're excited about these Toad Ranch enclosures like we are. We can't wait to show you guys the next one on the horizon. But before we go, we wanted to share a little bit of information with you guys in case you missed it. But just the other day, YouTube selected us as creator on the rise and they featured us for 24 hours on their main page under trending. It's all because of this one's hard work right here. All I do is just talk about reptiles to you guys. <laughs> Seriously, all the editing, all those cool drone shots and GoPro and all that like just awesome cinematic stuff you've, is all her. You've gotten real good with the GoPro. I managed to not get bitten by turtles when using the GoPro. <laughs> but uh, hard work pays off and um, we're super thankful to YouTube. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. That was incredible to be in the limelight like that. But really it's thanks to all of you for watching, commenting, sharing, just 
doing what you do for Sending us. Sending us all of your love in the comments is, is amazing. We do we do read as much as we can when we find the time and everything you guys say is just it's so endearing and, and thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to watch. Um, we hope you guys keep joining us on our adventures. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget about that new Otis shirt up in the store as well as other shirts with our new logo on it. Again, oh this one. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.